Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Monster Jam Fire and Ice Stunt Set. I picked this up Black Friday one year, and uh, yeah, one year, 2019, picked it up Black Friday 2019, and I've been holding on to it ever since. I has, still have not opened it because I was hoping to make a video on it, and the day has finally come. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is kind of a random video. Why are we seeing this now? Well, with the change in schedule that I decided to make for 2023, I wanted to start making three videos a week rather than two because I'm starting to realize that I am taking in more products than I'm actually showing on YouTube. So I needed to pick up the pace a little bit and I figured this would be a good way to do it was to start doing three videos a week. But then we had a problem because my two video schedule was perfect the way it was. I didn't know what to do for a three video schedule, but that's when my mother gave me the genius idea to do a random video every week. So um, basically the idea is that every week you guys will get a scheduled, the two scheduled videos that I do every week. So for example, this week was Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Mainline and Hot Wheels Mainline. And then I have a randomizer wheel that I'm gonna use now and I'll randomize that. And whatever it gives me will be the third video that I will do for the week. Now, coincidentally, I decided to try out that randomizer wheel today for the first time, and it gave me the largest item that I put on the freaking wheel. And I thought to myself, there's no way it would do that. It did that. I cursed myself. So, uh, yeah. Today, we are going to be taking a look at this Fire and Ice playset. Um, it should be an interesting video because, you know, I haven't done a playset video in forever. And with the new video style that I'm doing, I think the way that I'm going to do it here is we're going to take a look at the playset itself first. Then we'll go in detail with the die casts, then we'll do the turntables, then we'll close up the video. That is my plan anyways. So let's take a look first at the design on the box. So as you can see, and this is going to be interesting because I'm, you know, normally I have my box and I'm sitting down in a chair, but this time things are going to be done a bit different. As you can see, I now have to stand up and do stuff like this. So here's the box. Um, as you can see on it, we've got the playset here and the launcher with the accessories and the trucks that come with it. What is interesting about this playset is that it is, that, that it is essentially the fire and ice themed son of a digger freestyle stunt storm set. So it's pretty much that playset, but with just a couple extra things here and there. The only difference is really is the color palette that they did for it. The three crush cars, the two shipping containers, the trophy, and then the three extra trucks. All of its fire and ice theme. So you actually get four trucks in this box. You get Fire Grave Digger, Fire Son of a Digger, Ice Blue Thunder, and Ice Soldier Fortune. Ice Soldier Fortune and Fire uh, Son of a Digger actually had two updates that were not on the original versions of the trucks and I will show those as we go here. But without further ado, uh, let's take a look at everything else in the box here. So if we take a look at the top, you can see the four trucks that we get in here. That's pretty simple enough. They, they got the four trucks on this side as well. This side just has Grave Digger on it. You can see that there. One of the things I want you to note about the uh, art for Grave Digger is the headlights. They have yellow paint around them. Keep that in mind because if you look at the die cast itself, it does not have yellow paint around the headlights. Spitmaster. So they did fix that at a later date. The, the, the new one has it. All right, and then if we take a look at the back of the box, you can kind of see the little diagram about how this thing works. We got the... Uh, the trucks and the playset and all that magic. And as you can see here, uh, big air, backflips, just all sorts of good stuff. You put the truck in the launcher, uh, set it up, and then you launch it, and you can ju jump it off all this nonsense. I'll show you all how it works as we go, because that is just what I do. Is there anything on the bottom? There is not. Okay. So, now for the fun part, the unboxing. I got a knife ready to go. Let's get this thing open. This box is in absolute shambles from sitting in my room for four years now. This thing's been sitting in here for four years, I think. It's pretty crazy. All right, and like I said, I'll do a brief overview of the trucks, but I'm not actually gonna go into detail with any of them. Reason being is because we will save that for the actual truck review part of the video. Uh, figuring out how to get this open is going to be really fun, and I'm very curious to see how long that's going to take me to do. So, bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, while I try and figure that out. Okay, that gave way. Is this going to give away? What is this? Why are there so many flaps? Why are there so many cardboard flaps on this thing? I think a 
if I could. Editor, if my face ever goes into frame, please crop it out because I have a plan for my face review and I don't want that to get ruined. So let's not let that happen, shall we? Okay, there we go. That gave, okay, so that is open now. First item in the box, the Comments Complaints card. If you ever have a problem with any of your Spin Master products, go ahead and call that toll-free number right there. All right, here we have the instruction. Oh my God, I did not realize how many parts were in here. Holy crap. So there's quite a few parts in here by the looks of things, and it gives you instructions on how to put all of that together. That's right there. Okay, so here is our launcher. So this is the launcher, little mechanism right here with the truck holder and everything. So that's pretty cool. Put that over there. All right, so in here we have our crush cars, our trophy, and our shipping containers. I'm gonna do some backflips off them shipping containers. All right. This, I wondered why there was a handle on here. It's because this whole thing comes out and I completely misunderstood that portion. Okay, there we go. So now we can get rid of the box. The box is pointless now. That'll just go into recycling. Remember everybody, recycle when you can. Um, stickers, of course. Because no such, there's no such thing as a perfect YouTube video. Um, let's see, so we got a backflip ramp there. Backflip ramp. Um, this looks like the Hot Wheels track stuff that we're gonna attach to the launcher. And then here is our actual like ramp and everything. So we got that there. And then all of these pieces will come together to form our playset. Well, they can't really do that if they're on the floor, can they? <laughs> let, me, let me grab that real quick. There we go. All right. And then hidden in the box still is our trucks. So let's, oh wait, what's this? What is that? That is interesting. I wonder, I wonder what that goes to. Is there another one of those? Here. Okay, here's our trucks, everybody. So, pulling it out of the package now, we have our monster trucks. Because, you know, it is a monster truck video. You'd expect to get some monster trucks. And we do, of course. We get four of them in here. All fire and ice thing. Two for team fire, two for team ice. And the first one that you get as soon as you open the box is Gravedigger for team fire. As you can see, no paint on the headlights, like I said. So here's a quick overview of the truck so that way you can see what it looks like before we go to use it. So that is Team Fire's Gravedigger right there. This here is the Soldier Fortune, and much like I suspected, they did actually update this truck. So um, as I'm opening this, I'm going to go get my other one. My other Soldier Fortune actually has a detail on it because it is the original. For those of you who go way back on my channel, you may remember I made a video on the original Ice Soldier Fortune. And... There is a little tiny detail that they've changed on this one to make it more realistic to the real life one. So, let's get this out of the package and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, here we go. If you're a variant collector, you do need both of these. So here is the ice Soldier Fortune, as you can see, looks really cool, but there is, like I said, a detail that has actually changed. This is the original. So if you look, you're not gonna notice really a detail at first. However, look at the back fenders. If you look at the back fenders, you'll notice that there is a change there where one has camouflage and the other one doesn't. The other detail that I do wanna point out here is on the back, you can see that there is camouflage where there wasn't any on the original. This is the original, this is the new one. So we'll put the original down there. We'll put the new one over there. Oh yeah, this one's cool. So this is awesome. The two fire trucks in today's video, I actually do not have a single variant of in my collection. So opening these is gonna be a lot of fun. The fire grave digger looks really cool. And here is the fire son of a digger. This one is freaking awesome. One of the details, I think the only change on this one from the original is that the flames only go halfway on the original. I think they went all the way down the top of the truck. But yeah, there you go. That is the fire son of a digger. That is freaking awesome. I love the way that looks. And people wonder why I picked Team Fire over Team Ice. Obviously, because Team Fire had the better looking trucks. And then the other truck we get in here, which if I'm not mistaken, has zero changes to it. It is just a re-release of the original. 
might have one small change to it if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong about that though. That is of course the very famous, one of the classic Monster Jam trucks from way back when, Blue Thunder for Team Ice right here. I think I made a video on Team Ice's Blue Thunder as well, if I'm not mistaken. But there you go, everybody. That is the fourth and final truck you get in the playset. Okay, so those are our four trucks. We've got all the parts to the playset, I think. I feel like we're missing something because I've only got one of those red things and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get two of them. Maybe, I, maybe there's only one of them. I think that maybe, I, where's the instructions? The instructions should have the answer to my question. Yeah, there's only one, okay, good. Okay, so now we gotta put this thing together. And I don't really know how to do that. Hold on, there's a piece of plastic still, I gotta, I don't know why I have my knife over here, I don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna get this little plastic piece out of here and then we will uh, get that figured out. So it says, first step is assembling the launcher. Uh, step one is putting the stickers on. Step two is adding... Oh, it's a hand grip. Okay. That's cool. Let me get this open real quick. I will say, Spidmaster, you, you use some top quality plastic bags. Those things are impossible to open by hand. Okay. There's our black grip. All right. There we go, here is the first step, which is your launcher. Okay, so you get your launcher here. This thing right here is actually a hand grip, so that way when you're launching your truck, you can use your non-dominant hand to hold the launcher down, and I do believe that just slides in like this. One and two, and then you just go like that, and then you put your hand there and you can slam your launcher down like that and send your trucks flying. The other thing you gotta do is you gotta put your stickers on, which, I'm going to do real quick. If I'm not an idiot, I should be able to pull this off really easily. Okay. I will say that the fire stickers on the ice blue uh, launcher looks a little interesting. Wouldn't have been my first choice, but you know what? Oop, that fell off. Okay, put your stickers on before you put your uh, hand grip on. That's probably a smart idea. Okay. Get our second sticker here. that on just like not like that that's not that's not the stuff that's not the stuff everybody no dog no flow all right right there these stickers are on right side up I didn't put these on upside down okay so there you go that is your launcher with the stickers and then of course you put your truck holder your little holy grippy thingy right like that and there you go that is your launcher so that is how you're gonna send your trucks flying let's see what the next step is Okay, so the next step is you gotta put your... Stay, bad dog. Okay, so next step is you gotta put this on, right here. Right like that, that's your launcher completed. Okay, now we have to assemble the actual stunt thing. So, scoot that off to the side. This goes right here, and this piece goes on like this. Like that, I do believe is how they say that goes on there. And then you do a, this piece goes right here, like that. Pretty sure anyway. Okay, so you put your backflip ramp on, you got your uh, black ramp, blue ramp, and then you got your roof piece. Um, oh, all of these parts are interchangeable, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but you can actually uh, swap the parts around on your thing if you feel like uh, doing exactly that. Okay, so if I read the instructions correctly, we just spin this whole thing around. The black piece goes right here. The blue piece goes right here. And then your roof piece goes on like that. So there you go, everybody. That is your little uh, playset jump. And that is pretty much all the instructions tell you. The rest of this is all up to you with what you want to do. So there are a ton of things you can do with this playset. That is one of the cool things about it. It is that it is a very versatile playset. We're going to adjust the height here so that you guys can see a bit better about what I'm about to do. And that is showing off what these trucks are like. So very cool little playset here. You got a lot you can do. This is your launcher. This thing is insanely powerful. I do want to say that. We're going to try, we're going to start off with the backflip here. Um, 
I do, like like I said, this, the launcher, it flies. Like it is not a baby launcher by any the baby launcher. Wow. Um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna try blue thunder on the backflip here. So what you do is you, just to show it here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, you can. You know, put the truck in like this. You want to make sure that your, uh, this little lippy piece right here is underneath the truck. So that way when you send it, it get some speed off of it. That was really clean, not gonna lie. All right, let's see if we can make Blue Thunder do a backflip here. And let's hope the truck does not fall off the table. Something just got caught in my pants. <laughs> this piece of wood. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna try and make Blue Thunder do a backflip here. Here we go, three, two, one. Ooh, almost hit the nose. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. There we go. That is what, that is the stuff. That is the sauce right there. Okay, so that was cool. Now comes the next part. We're gonna get rid of Blue Thunder here and we're gonna do this with Soldier Fortune next. So we're gonna try this. So this side of the ramp has some pretty cool little details on it. I don't really have anything for these guys to crash into, so this might end badly. So here's what you got for this side of the ramp. You have a, the foremost ramp right here is just a quick little jump that you can launch trucks over. And then you've got this right here, which they're gonna hit this and it's gonna allow for a more straight up in the air jump. I am going to grab a blanket real quick so that way these things have something to crash into that isn't my brand new table that I just got recently. That would make me quite upset. So let me grab this really uh, nice blanket here, very soft blanket. Um, We'll move these trucks out of the way, put them over here with the accessories, and then these guys will have something to crash into. That, okay, I didn't estimate this, but they might hit the wall. So if anybody, if my parents get upset that there's a hole in the wall, I'm gonna blame you guys. So here we go. Let's try this out. I'm gonna launch it right off of this ramp right here. Three, two, one. Okay, that was not, that was so underwhelming. We need more oomph than that. We're gonna get some distance. Three, two, one. Well, I did completely miss the blanket, but yeah, you get the idea with that. Okay. Just in case. Okay, and then the secondary ramp, which is the, the one that really gets you up high here. Three, two, one. I didn't do it well, that's a little... <laughs> What is going on? Why is this not, why is this not working? Am I, am I not, okay, do I have to get like really close? Let me try that. Three, two, one. Oh, that helps, that definitely helps. Let's try it on the other one here. Get nice and close. Three, two, one. Oh, that was cool. That did, I think it made it do a front flip. I wanna try it again, see if I can witness it in, in, in time. Three, two, one. Well, that was not even remotely close to what I wanted. Anyway. You get the idea. The backflip, okay, so this, if, if it did do what I think it did and it didn't, you know, mess with my head, this is just a normal jump. This makes your truck do a front flip, I guess, which is pretty cool. All right, Blue Thunder has had his time. It is time for Son of a Digger to take to the, to, to, to take to the stage with these two jumps right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these two jumps here, it's going to be the front flip again. And then this one here is also going to be, I think this one's gonna be a forward momentum backflip, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna start with the front flip since we've already seen that one. Here we go, three, two, one. Heck yeah, that was awesome. That was cool, very nice landing on that one. All right, now for the next one, which is the, we're actually gonna scoot everything. Actually, I'll scoot you guys this way. So that way you can see the landings a bit better. All right, let me know if I'm doing this well in the comments. If I'm doing this playset video well, let me know so that way I know what I need to change, what I don't need to change. All right, here's the black ramp. I'm pretty sure this is a forward momentum backflip. Three, two, one. That was just a normal backflip, actually. Now I have to land it, because that's just how I am. Three, two, one. Oh, God. We gotta do Ryan Anderson proud. We gotta do Ryan Anderson proud. Three, two, one. What in the world was that? Can we get an instant replay on that one, please? That was interesting. Okay. Uh, Ryan Anderson, that was good enough. Let's bring out Adam Anderson in the grave digger with the final piece of this playset. And this is probably the part where I'm gonna put a dent in my wall. This is a distance ramp. So essentially, if I'm not mistaken, 
the trucks are gonna come out of this and they should get some height off of this, or some distance rather. So for safety measures, I'm going to back up a little bit. Um, okay, here we go. You guys can still see that, right? Yep, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Well, that was incredibly disappointing. I was hoping he would go flying. Let me try. I just wanna make it very clear right now that if I mess this up, this could be where my YouTube career ends. So here we go, three, two, one. There we go, that is what you wanna see right there. You gotta put some, so if you're gonna get this place set, just know you gotta put some force behind that slam if you want that to go in. So anyway, that is like the main piece of the play set right there. And if I ever get the Son of a Digger Freestyle Force set, I think is what it's called, it is pretty much, no joke, the exact same thing. However, the Freestyle Force set, only comes with son of a digger this is all completely different color i think all these pieces are blue this black one back or this one these blue pieces here are brown this piece back here i think is blue and then these two pieces are green if i'm not mistaken same thing applies to the launcher anyway let's get that out of the way the other reason why this place set is kind of you know i would say a better version of the freestyle force set and i think there's like three total versions of the freestyle force set there's the classic one with son of a digger there is this really cool one with uh, the fire and ice trucks. And then I think they did one that glows in the dark with, uh, I think it was Grave Digger and Blue Thunder in that one. But this one is cool because it comes with a couple of accessories. So you get two shipping containers. You get four, or sorry, three blue cross cars. And then you get this little piece right here, the Monster Jam World Finals Trophy, which is really cool. All of these can be used in your little dioramas or whatever you're making. So mainly, I think this is yeah, I think this is cool because uh, for those of you who don't know, not this. Everything else here can all be used for monster dirt. I don't have any monster dirt on me. I have kinetic sand, but I refuse to use that stuff because it is way too sticky to objects that isn't itself. The reason why monster dirt is cool, I've never actually tried it, but from what I've heard, monster dirt is cool because it usually, the only thing that it really sticks to is itself. It doesn't really stick to anything else and it holds form. So when you have monster dirt, you can use all of this stuff as molds for your little sets to make backflip ramps and whatnot. Or, you know, you could just do what I do for my stop motion stuff and you can just use the little molds themselves as crush cars. Or like, you know, it's just destructible. So you can have your monster trucks come up here and do some pretty cool stuff. Oops. With the crush cars. Or if you want, you can stack up your backflip ramps like this, like they do in the real shows. Stack them up too high. Put a little dirt right here. And then you can have your trucks pull off sick backflips. Or if you're lazy and you really don't want to go through all the trouble of that, that's what this is for. That was so clean. Oh my God, that was so clean. Holy crap, that's probably gonna be the highlight of the video. Anyways, that is it for the playset. That is all I've gotta show for the playset. Now on to the second part of the video, which is the review of the die casts that come in here. So, throwing it over to uh, future David Weston in the cube. Uh, let's head over there now. Thanks, past David. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at these things in detail as I've been instructed to do, starting with Grave Digger. So we'll get these guys out of the way, put them off to the side. Here is the Grave Digger. So this is really cool. I really do think that these trucks have a lot of really good solid detail on them. And I kind of want to get that on video for you guys. So as you can see here, we got a black body, a yellow roll cage, orange chassis, orange tires with yellow treads and orange rims, which looks really flipping cool. And the Grave Digger itself looks amazing for Team Fire. I've always liked the Team Fire Grave Digger over the Team Ice one. I thought it was way cooler. Both of these in real life turned out amazing though, and you gotta admit the fire you gotta admit that the fire grave digger and the fire son of a digger look pretty freaking cool. Because they really do. They really, really do. Anyway, the grave digger looks really cool because of all of the detail that is on it. So it's got practically the same grave digger style uh, decals on it. However, this time around, I didn't adjust my light from when I did thumbnails last, so my apologies. Let me see if I can get that all fixed up for you guys. Yeah, there we go. Now you guys can really see the details. Okay, so as you can see on the side panel here, it is pretty much the same Grave Digger side panel 
However, now everything is covered in flames. So the whole graveyard is up in flames. The rings around the moon have changed. The ones that are actually there on the real life truck have turned red and the ones that they that Spin Master added in to as filler detail are gray. And then of course you got the Monster Jam Fire logo there as well, which looks really cool. USHRA logo back here, Monster Jam, Spin Master, all those logos in there. Pretty much the same thing, just all on fire. And this side is exactly the same, but mirrored. The front end, as I said, it technically has an inaccuracy. There's supposed to be yellow paint around the headlights. That is fixed on the later releases of Gravedigger Fire, but not on this one. And then of course, we've got the yellow flames on the hood with the red stripe there, going up to the top with the yellow flames and the roof panel, which says Gravedigger, bad to the bone. And then we've got the absolutely flame laced grim up there, which looks really freaking awesome. So yeah, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the fire grave digger that you get with this pack. Pretty flippin' cool. But the sun, the sister truck, I guess it's the sun, it's the sun, that was kind of dumb, but the truck that, you know, kind of goes with grave digger is son of a digger. And this one, I gotta say, is fantastic. It is a shame that they did not do this one for the real life uh, fire and ice show because it would have looked amazing. Just the detail on the side panel alone is impressive with this thing. And I really want to zoom in to show off that detail there to the best of my ability. So as you can see, the side panel says son of a digger. We got the same overall setup as the grave digger, by the way, body, chassis, all that. Um, so as you can see, son of a digger, you got scrap up there with the tree and the sun. It's not a moon, it's a sun now. And as you can see, the glowing red fog, orange fog covering the whole thing with all of the wrecked trucks on the side with uh, Maximum Destruction, El Toro Loco, uh, Son of a Digger in the tunnel there. I think that's uh, NEA Police, I think. Wait, is that really NEA Police? Oh no, it's Alien Invasion, I think. I was gonna say, if that's NEA Police on the side, that is weird that they would have that on here. Uh, you can see Avengers hood right there, parts of Blue Thunder, uh, the original green truck grave diggers right there. I can't see who that is. It kind of looks like, what does that look like? Kind of looks like the Chrome Avenger, weirdly enough. I don't know what that is. And I don't see a normal grave digger on here, which is really strange. Maybe it's on the other one and I just can't see it here. There's another truck right here that I can't see either because of the lighting and everything. Monster Jam Fire logo as well. Maybe it shows it better on this side. Let's take a look. It does not, sadly. I really cannot tell what those two trucks are. Actually, that's an excavator. I'm an idiot. This back, this is not a monster truck. This is an excavator for like the wrecking yard thing. But I still don't know what that flipped over truck is. And I can't tell if that is Alien Invasion or NEA right there. Also, I just learned this recently. All of the new releases of Son of a Digger, they got rid of the Avenger hood and they added a Megalodon hood, which I think is stupid as crap, but that's just me. I can't, you know, because Avenger, Avenger's a pretty important part of Monster Jam. I figured they would have kept that. I don't know. The front end here, you got that cool looking Willy's front end. No grill printing though. Uh, the headlights with the flames on the hood. And then just like Grave Digger, as you can see, the roof is pretty similar. You got the flames coming down scrap here and then son of a digger now because as you would imagine uh future or you know past uh david refer uh, referenced it when he was looking at the playset there i managed to dig out our uh singles release of the son of a digger fire for the purpose of showing you the change between the two models now if you're keen you probably already see it but it's actually the roof of the truck you can see what uh, I was referencing now with the flames going all the way down the back end. With the normal Son of a Digger, this was more accurate, so they ended up changing it. However, I feel like for the Fire Edition, this looked cooler. But in the end, this is what they ended up going with. And honestly, I think having it like that kind of shows the contrast between Scrap and the Flames a bit better. So I'm kind of glad they ended up going with this. However, I still think that's really cool. But yes, that is the difference between the two models that I was talking about earlier when I first brought, pulled out the Son of a Digger uh, truck. But anyway, there you go. That is the second one, which is Fire Son of a Digger. Really cool. Probably my favorite fire truck I own, actually. Okay, now onto the other one that I referenced had a change to it, and that was Soldier Fortune here for Team Ice. We've got a light baby blue body with a white, uh, white roll cage, 
blue chassis, blue rims, and icy blue tires with white treads on it right there, which looks really cool. Now, you can see all the detail here, Soldier Fortune, Monster Jam Ice, the American flag facing uh, backwards because you know that's how you're supposed to display American flags. The stars always face the front of the vehicle. Uh, AAC1055 on the side. This side is the exact same but mirrored, so I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about that. The back end says Soldier Fortune on it with the tail lights there. And then the front end is all set up. No paint on the headlights though, which I think is really interesting. But anyway, that is pretty much that one in its entirety. But as I referenced, or as you know, past me referenced, this one also has a change on it. This is the original singles release. This is the playset version. So uh, I kind of showed it off a little bit, but I didn't do a good job of showing it off. So there is a difference between these two models. And if you look really closely, you can see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these like this. I'm gonna see if I can show it off. So if you look, this is the playset version. And if you look, you can see there's camouflage on this fender right here, or this wheel well right here. That is not there on the older one, as you can see. The older one has no paint. And the same goes for the back ends of both of the trucks as well. If you take a look at the older one in comparison to the newer one, I'll just do it like this. Older one compared to the newer one, the newer one has this camouflage paint right here. On the older one, that is not there. It is a very small detail that barely any, oh wait, I just noticed the Soldier Fortune logo on the back is actually bigger on the newer one and lighter than the original. So there is a couple changes here and there, which is pretty interesting. I like that a lot. But yeah, other than that, it is pretty much the exact same truck. Nothing really changes. But the playset version does have a few paint changes to it, which are pretty easy to spot if you know what you're looking for. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is Soldier Fortune. We got one truck left and it is Blue Thunder right here for Team Ice. Again, another truck that I have a die cast release of. However, this one does not have any changes to it. It is exactly the same as the one that they originally released. So I won't spend that much time on it. Light blue body, white roll cage, blue chassis, blue rims, uh, icy blue tires with the white treads. Same thing as usual with the blue window there. Uh, the blue thunder logo, Monster Jam Ice. And then of course, instead of lightning, we have like ice with it looks like it has cracks in it. And one of my favorite details about Blue Thunder of all time is that it's actually a split paint job truck. And not a lot of people know that, but if you look at this side compared to this side, this side is way more cracked than the other side. And that actually goes for the lightning on the on the uh, normal variant of the truck. The, this side features way more lightning than this side does, even on the real truck. The front end has those F-150 headlights with the grill, Blue Thunder, all the cracking, the cracking up the top, and then on the back, it says, feel the energy, which has been a feature of the modern non-Ford uh, sponsored Blue Thunder. So there you go. That is the final one there. Let's get to the turntables of all of these, and we'll close up the video. I really can't figure out how to get this thing to show a good end to the video here. It wouldn't zoom in correctly and then it wasn't focusing. So this is the best you get um, with the trucks here. So here's all four of the trucks. And then just to show you that we still got the play set on the side, throw the shipping containers back here. All the crush cars will come back here as well. And then put the trophy right there. So there you go, everybody. That is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, this is my first ever playset video, so I doubt this was perfect when it comes to you know reviews. But uh, needless to say, if you have any complaints, 
put them in the comments so that way if I have to do another playset video when the randomizer wheel hits then I will know what to do ahead of time to change things up make things better make things worse who knows anyway that is all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I thank you all for watching, tuning in to another episode of Western Racing Year 2024. This will be the final video for week one of 2024. How crazy is that? But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Thank you, and good night. Peace out.